Um, hello humans. Sorry, I forgot to start recording at the beginning of the run. Just love that. Love that for me. Uh, um... Let's just start off with something simple. Some light stuff. What's the chance of you dealing damage? Actually, you know what? Chance of you dealing damage is pretty high. I'll block two damage. Uh, light shield blocks corruption. Corruption is the red stuff. Purification is the blue stuff. We deal mostly purification. Um, if we have any corrupted actions, like this virtue here, we have to play it before the end of our turn. Because if not, it'll uh, infest us and then we'll die instantly and the game refuses to let us die instantly. So, that's 100% true by the way. Cool. Yeah, that's really neat. Gotta put 5 Radiant Bomb on you. When that Sentinel is destroyed, it will deal 5 Purification to everybody. The reason I didn't put that 2, cr two Purification 2 Shield on us is because 1, we're about to have most of our HP healed. 2, I'd rather the damage be dealt to him because the Purification couldn't be dealt to me. Shadow Mantle blocks uh, purification. Light Shield blocks corruption. Um, let's get two damage. Rearm you. One, two, three. All right, cool. That wasn't too bad. Not as bad as the runs have usually been. Um, Healbot Plus, actually, yeah. And sure, give me Iron Strike. Why don't we just go for a 100% balance build. Not 100%, but mostly balance build. Because I'm liking these balance die. I mean, it's risky, but when it pays off, it pays off. Six rate doom bomb on you. Do some of that. So when this guy hits half HP, he's going to gain three doom. Doom increases the amount of corruption dealt, and power increases the amount of purification dealt. Torment increases the amount of corruption received, and Serenity increases the amount of purification received. And these apply to die, not my virtues. Well, alright. That's how we're gonna be. Let me tell you something right now. I'm not gonna take it. Um, put the heal bot on you. Heal bot at the end of the turn. It'll heal me for the number of heal bot that it has. And since I would like to be at full HP. going to deal 6. I'm just going to put it just above its HP threshold. What? Ah, I... Because of the... Okay, I didn't think about that. Because the Radiant Bomb, I got healed, and then the 2 damage was dealt to the... Okay. 
Still her flag, by the way, at the end of... At, at the start of every three turns, it deals... It deals... How much damage? No, it deals two light shield to everybody. I'm just gonna hit you with it, sorry. Deal one to you, deal two to you, and put two shield on myself. Now you're at 10 HP, that's good. with this character and I've been pretty uh pretty frustrated a lot and I'm just now realizing there was no need to be like upset about it you just gotta I am on difficulty 3 anomaly level 3 which increases boss's max HP enemies max HP and enemies ability strength tinker or lunge sure I suppose I mean could go astral rebound I sort of want to go tinker or lunge auto retour is not great I would love to see a systematic repair though. Auto turret is good for non, for not what I'm doing. Red desk, red chest, choose up to two risky die. Um, no thanks, and... No thanks. start off by what would I like to see more often I think I'd like to see see because this boomerang is going to bring it back and what do I have too much of you know what? it's not a great choice but it's the choice that I'm making to visit the forge shop a couple of times just for the sake of okay this fight's horrible i'm just gonna say that this fight has killed all my runs it's actually slaughtered by all my runs um so let's hope it doesn't all right give me some heal bot okay So, I guess we're starting out with this guy. To be honest, I'd rather shield up the enemies. Um, the, my starting... Star Blessing, Lacerdia and Lance. Asserting Lacerdia and Lance causing me to start with two... Causing me to start with two hearts instead of three. It causes me to start with two sentinels. And it causes me to start with... And it causes my sentinels at the end of each turn to gain one auto turret. Reroll 
these two. I want to see what they're doing. Okay. Real talk? That's cringe. So let's do this. I still want to prevent all these enemies from... Oh, I want to do this in a certain way, but I don't want to... It's just gonna suck. Oh well. Let's reroll this and reroll whatever you're doing so I can see what you're doing. Okay, cool. And then. Three. Dealing one to everybody, you're dealing one to all enemies. I can take three damage, but I won't have to worry about taking three damage because three damage will actually be up here because that enemy is going to die. So that guy's gonna die. So, who do I not want to gain any HP? You and you. You're going to gain two corruption, which will fill up your over-corruption meter. It sucks, but it is what it is. The closer we get this enemy to death, the better. And I'm shielding them, because when they gain corruption, they not only gain HP, but they fill up their over-corruption meter. The over-corruption meter, once it gets fully filled, it will perform the action that's shown here. Okay, we could either draw a die. Nope, I got it. Do that. Please. Thank you. Deal the one damage. Do that. Draw a die. Draw two die. To a random enemy. Well, I'll tell you what. Let it ride. And the stellar flag came in clutch. And now that this guy's down to 10 HP, I think we're... I think we're pretty in. And usually the hard part about this fight is getting one of them down fast enough before they get ramped up. take you down this turn? Just barely. Ain't that something? Well, I'm gonna take that for myself then. Make sure that you don't get overcorrupted. Or pray that you don't get overcorrupted. I can't make sure, but I can definitely try. Gain to heal bot. So this is a character that focuses mostly on sentinels, if you couldn't tell. Um, 
and because he focuses mostly on sentinels, these sentinels dying is not good. Like having them dead for multiple turns, for one turn is okay, for multiple is really bad. We're going to hang on. Deal one damage to you. Destroy you. Overloaded repair. Repair you and then deal four damage to all enemies. Gonna deal three damage. Going to deal three damage. If you were wondering why I didn't play that die and I instead did the action that I did of discarding it. Well, the reason I discarded it was so we could deal 3 damage instead of 1. Floor 2. Floor 3, we will not be doing the hard battle. Um, it's a death sentence. Like, actually. There's no reason. any of this really no right, that's pretty good I could remove a die. I can pay 150. Here's my options. I can either remove a die, which I don't know what die I would remove, or I can just do this and then duplicate a die. What die would I want to duplicate? Probably heal bot if I'm being honest. But let's just let's make the die safer. To use before we make the another copy of the die, since we can only get one die anyhow, I think it should be that. This is the first time I think I've came here, and I haven't needed to pray to recover a heart. And this character is... This is the better of the two bosses, in my opinion. I would much rather fight this boss than fight the other one. The other boss fight is just very... Not great. For multiple reasons. Um... How are we gonna do this? So either way... We kinda gotta take some damage. Or we could just avoid taking damage. Which would be cool. Huh, that's funny. Let's put four radiant bomb on you. Let's then blow you up. I meant to damage myself, re-roll this, and then okay. Every five times we deal purification to it, we're going to activate its die phase. Similar to... Nope. That, that was not this video that I did that fight.
Okay. If we can avoid dealing damage to this enemy, that would be a dream come true. And you might be like, what do you mean, avoid dealing damage? Don't you want to deal damage? I want to deal damage, but I myself shouldn't deal damage. Because the enemy will get stronger when I deal damage. Or get closer to uh, activating its die phase twice. Which is why I have been very diligently playing damage. There comes the stellar flagon. Um, one area corrupt is okay. This really sucks a lot more than I thought it would. And I don't even have enough. You've got to be kidding me. Play that. You're just going to have to take one damage this turn, and I'm just going to have to take no damage this turn. I am going to skip out on playing the Virtue. Letting this fight drag on is not as bad as other things. Like, letting this fight drag on is a little bit better than some other things that could happen. Reroll this. Okay. Two purification damage from the sentinel. One damage from the sentinel. Two shield on me. Four shield on me. And just two. Not have any corruption. There we go. Um, this symbol means that I can only deal it to the enemy. Alright. Um, heal bot is cool. One damage is cool. That's also cool. Would I rather take the damage or... No, I'd rather... My sentry can take one little hit. Well, it's gonna deal two, da two damage and then another five next turn. But I really don't want to take one damage either. I don't want to take any damage. Stellar flag, there we go. We'll start building it up. We're not going to play it. We'll just start building it up. Just in case that goes wrong. Okay, cool. Only deals five purification. That sucks. And it has to be done to an enemy. So I'll tell you what, you fully restore your HP. And five damage to you. Means the next time I damage you, you're going to hit me. You're going to activate your die. All your die faces deal damage to me, so there's that. And then the next time we play a balanced die, we will draw another die. It's either going to be a safe or risky die.
Hang on. Now we're cooking. Overloaded repair. Wait, I what? What what happened? What happened? Bro, I didn't click end turn. I accidentally because I dealt the damage. Come on. That's so lame. Restore 3 HP. Lose 3 HP. Repair. Deal 2 damage. I mean, we've got this, that's just a little annoying. Yeah, I went in uh, the die that I played. You deal repair Roken Sentinel if you do deal four purification all enemies. So basically, I dealt damage to it, and that's why its little vengeful stab thing went off down here. But it's fine. Our sentinel took care of things. Being honest, give me the clever scrapping. Please tell me I see... Nope. Deal one additional purification at the start of a battle. Apply one death bomb to an enemy. No. One additional die. No. Increase the purification received by all targets by two. Increase the corruption received by you by one. No. That really sucks. This is the only extra draw die. And it has to be obscure. Yeah, you're insane. You really think I'm gonna take on... Obscure. I wish they had the, uh, the blindfold one, but they don't. So here's what we can do. Duplicate die right there. So then we can gain 100, go there, go through that, or maybe that. There, 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 okay. So, like this. Then we go here. We can spend a good bit of money. Get rid of the AoE nonsense. Place with better AOB nonsense. Deal five purification to any target. Reroll up to four dice. I don't like either one of these. But I guess if I had to, I would take this one and I'd put it. I don't want to put it on the heal bot. I know that seems crazy, but I'm going to duplicate the heal bot later. Because we've got to duplicate up ahead. I got a line drawn. Okay, this is a bit of a rough fight. Put some heal bot on you. Let's start off. Hang on, before we do that. I mean, 
That's just good. Do that. Deal two to you. Um, rearm you. Okay. Well. Okay. When this enemy hits half HP, which is 21, they will deal two extra damage. Paralyzed absolutely sucks, but it, it is what it is, I mean, no, you really? So everybody's going to start taking one corruption at the end of the turn, all right. Would that be five damage for me? If we're being honest, I really want to take care of this enemy like a lot faster than we are. It's not making me happy at all. Kill. All right. I'm just taking it slow. Just taking it nice and there we go. Stellar flag. This is why I took stellar flag. I skipped the, uh, the star blessing at the beginning by accident. Need to reroll both of these urgently because I'm not dealing with either of them. Oh, see, I had a feeling you'd do something like that. So that's why. Put some Radiant Bomb on this guy, which isn't going to go off this turn, which sucks, but... I'll make sure I deal all that damage to you, and then the Virtual will reset. Another 3 damage to myself, just to make you do something else. damage to you and block most of the damage I'm taking I'll take one damage and hopefully you will perish from my uh, sentinels auto turret what I'm thinking. Um, here's what I'm thinking. Go crazy. Because we clever scrap this guy. It takes care of this one. Do the systematic repair. We draw one die. Take three damage, re-roll, we play this. Perfect. Deal two damage, gain two shield. Deal one damage, deal another one damage. This is a balanced die, so when we play this we're gonna draw another die. Which is why I'm going to rearm you. gonna break you so this deals more damage I should have rerolled his die when I rerolled the other ones but I didn't notice it and 
and then save three HP, deal one damage to him. Deal two damage to him from the heal bot. Alright, we might be able to get him down this turn, which would be pretty sick. going to do that. Okay. Just gonna do that. And guess what? Do it as a goner. We take three damage, but he takes four, five. Yeah, he's dead. And then he takes... Oh, no, because of the... The affliction. Right. So, it's still over, but... It just took a turn longer than I thought. Just goes to show, you don't know everything you think you know. Because if you think you know it, then do you really know it? Pairs would be nice. The Vorpal Plate would be nice, but I like to keep my build the way it is, I think. Gain 100 shards. Not sacrifice a heart. This is whenever you reroll dice, apply one doom for each die rerolled. Ooh, that's not good. Well, looks like we're just not gonna be rerolling die. So it looks like we've got an enemy who thinks they're gonna build up their doom their uh, over corruption so then they can build up doom and let me tell you I'll take damage before I let an enemy get stronger So then it gets rebounded and goes back in there. Destroy this. Five to everybody. Repair. And then eight damage. And let's make sure. You want to slow down the doom growth as much as possible. As long as he doesn't gain too much doom, we should be good. If we reroll, he gains doom. Tell you what, we take the three damage. We deal three damage. Two. One. Deal one to everybody. 
clever scrapping. See, that's unfortunate. But we got a repair. Three damage. And you're just gonna have to tank one, sorry. But you're dealing six and then three at the start of the next turn. Take any corruption. And I mean, it's taken a while, but it's a whole lot better than having him get like 16 doom and then just destroying me. Even just him having one doom would have made that so much worse. I'll take it. Five. Okay, would I rather draw three die? Or would I rather deal 17 damage? I'm gonna be honest, I'd rather draw three die. The die that I just played allows me to choose a die face. Um, hang on, deal the one damage first. Then you break him, and because we broke him, I guess I never explained this, this Tinkerer Lunge deals an additional amount of damage for each time a Sentinel has been repaired and destroyed. Uh, Astral Calling, let's just choose a die. How about mm, heal bot? Get rid of that. That's a balanced die, so we are going to draw another. That sucks. You're gonna take eight damage. You're gonna be dead next turn. It's over. Heal bot for the win. Perfect. Look at that guy. Look at that happy little guy. Um, let's not do that. And nope. Both sentinels are broken. No. Tell so risky you die. Apply incorruptible. Eight safe. She. Nope. The reason I keep on skipping on virtue refreshing things is because our virtues are dangerous. Random event. Forge, draw two dice, forge, serenity one. That's okay. This is all good stuff. So let's look at our die. A Tinkerer Lunge could definitely use a forge, draw two dice. I really like draw extra dice. I like those faces. It just makes things more efficient. Okay, so either we put that like that, which isn't. We could either put them both up to two, right? We can put this one up to three. But this one would stay at one. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Okay. 
upgrade him one more time. Alright, cool. Um, let's leave. And 50 star shards. Go up here. Not sacrifice hard to get a star blessing. Okay. This is going to be a rough fight. If we can't take care of it quick enough. Every time we play a virtue, apply one doom to a random target. So no virtues. I will astral rebound this die. And willingly deal corruption to an enemy. Nope. Because you're dealing it randomly, and... I'm all fine with you dealing random damage, but dealing random damage to an enemy that... This is gonna be a very... It needs to be a thought out fight. I'm sorry, this needs- this- this has to be changed. You can't do this. Like, that's so unfair. Whenever you play a Virtue, apply one Doom to a random target. Really, in my Virtue, I just have to play if I happen to activate, like... That's just crazy to me. Heal bot, please. To heal. Give me two die. Okay, well, you see the issue. <sighs> Everything is the issue here. I just forgot that it's gonna make him gain. No, it deals doom to a random target. Okay. It's still really bad. Hang on, prepare. You throw another radiant bomb on you. Deal three damage, deal one damage. If we're being honest, completely honest, 100% honest. Things are about to get a whole lot messier. This fight is going to be bad, no matter what, so we got to figure it out. Let's go. Like, at some point, my Sentinel's probably going to have to be destroyed. Two light shield on everybody is nice. Draw one die. Okay. Well, that's just not great, but thankfully, I don't have to worry about either one of those. Cancel. Repair them. Astral Calling. Tinker or Lunge. Y you, like, some, one of these days. Destroy them. Now, if you're wondering why I destroyed them, it's because of that, that area sh sentinel reshape. That needs to be avoided the best it possibly can. 
And because of these two, I'm going to have to destroy and remake my own Sentinel. As long as he stays at four over corruption. Like, I don't want this guy to start gaining doom like crazy. Okay. This is doable. damage to you. Um, two damage to you. We rebound this. And then... Okay. You know, you're attacking the same enemy, which I like, but... Don't you do it. Because you're going to deal it to a random sentinel. By the way, these things... This and this are not sentinels. Um... You know what? Yeah, lower his health. Okay, I, I didn't mean for him to actually die yet. I'd rather you deal that damage to me, personally. I'm glad you did. And this is how the entire thing falls apart. This is, this is literally how everything falls apart. I, d I don't know how you're supposed to get past this boss fight. It needs to be, there needs to be something else here. This is impossible. I, I have no clue how this is supposed to be done. Like I couldn't even begin to guess. It's 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 literally just over. It doesn't matter who I put this on. I ever roll those die? Oh, probably not. Two and then four to a random enemy. Four to a random target. Okay, that does nothing, thankfully. There's no way. No matter what, he's going to overcorrupt. And then I start to play the virtue. Okay, that's cool. He's gonna overcorrupt, he's gonna overcorrupt, he's gonna overcorrupt. Yeah, no, 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 this is fine. Oh, cool, you actually, you did it before his turn. I love that. Uh, that's, that's great. That's great. You did it before his turn? Which means that not only does he deal more damage to me, but the other sentinel, the other uh, assistant, I guess, deals more damage to me. And heals him more. I think that's, I think that's fascinating. Oh, yep. And then everybody just gets stronger and stronger and stronger. 
You know, I wonder where my die, uh... See, where's the die for me that let me change the face of enemies' dies? I wonder, like... It's over now. All these virtues I can't use, and... And it doesn't, it doesn't matter. Oh, oh right, I forgot I have to do that. You know what? Consider it like this. If you, uh, if you get hit, it's gonna kill you anyhow. Oh, it just, it just gave him more doom. Yeah, no, that's cool. I want to say we might be able to win this, but it's looking very not likely. I don't know why they thought it was okay to give him two invincible sentinels and make him literally the exact opposite of this character. Like, he counters this character in every single way. I don't get it. I don't understand. No other character has a counter like this. No, that's cool. It's not me, so I survive at least. And I forgot about the decay. So at the start of his turn, he's going to gain over corruption no matter what. Sick. That's neat stuff. I don't care if I lose, I lose, I guess. Like... Deal one damage. Break him. Put them back together. Choose to die in the die pool. Heal bot. Okay. Choose a die phase. Um, I could deal like eight damage to you, and then I could just repair both of you, which I know seems very strange to do, but. I don't feel like it is. Oh, and then he's just dealing a straight 7 damage to me again? That's not happening. Let's start with... This. Let's move on to this. Then let's... Do this. Do this. This. Um. We roll both of those and pray. Cool. Impossible boss. I'm uploading this. It's like I. Other people need to see this. I, I've gotten to this boss before, and he has done the same exact thing. Yep. Cool. Um, that's all for today. Like, 
that's actually so ridiculous to me. It's so incredibly ridiculous to me that I'm not even, like, no, I'm not even going to accept it. Because that's insane. That is completely insane. Dude can literally just wipe out your sentinels, make your sentinels die phase is completely useless. Like, if I, if I had a link build going, where I have to have the sentinels alive for longer so the links can build up strength, I don't, I don't know what I'd do. Like, in, it, w it would be one thing if the game would actually give you die that m match your build, but instead of giving you just the most random out-of-pocket things possible. Like, uh, it doesn't even matter.